Hello everyone, I'm an MC2Curtis Hafter, and I'm a member of the LEAD 360 group that was started at NMRTC Bethesda, and this week I'll be giving you a tour of the Joint Service Transcript and how it can help you in your educational pursuits. So let's go to Google and find the JST. This is the homepage for login. You can log in with your CAC like you would any other site. But if you want to be able to use this from home to check things, you can click register here. You fill out your information, and then you'll get a log. You can create a login that you can use from home or from your mobile device, anything you want to use. And this is the home page here. Each one of these toolbars up top has a drop down. We're going to go through so you kind of understand the page a little better. Let's start with the basic transcript. It shows here, and you click download PDF so you can see it better. And this is what it looks like. So it's going to have your name, it's going to have your rank, active duty, and then it starts with military courses. So we're all going to start with recruit, train, or basic training, and it's going to give a list of what you did and what they think may qualify for educational credit in the civilian world. Now if you go down to the next one, it's going to be your A school for sailors, or it's going to be AIT for the Army soldiers. And this again is going to have everything you did in your A school or AIT. It's going to be a little more detailed because it's more related to your job. Now the next part here is going to be your C school for the sailors and it's going to be OSUT for the army soldiers. And it's going to have a little more detailed information. And as you get through those initial trainings, you're going to get down here to where it says military experience. And it's going to list what you did as that rank or that rate. So here it says seaman because I was a seaman and it gives what a seaman would normally do. And then you keep going down and it gives you other things. It shows my C school here, what I would do. And then again, my C school. And then it gives you a long description of your actual job, which is very helpful to the civilian world because you can put into practical terms what you did for the military. So it's more useful to an institution to see, hey, these credits actually transfer. This is actually what he did. This is even useful for a job interview. So you know what you did and a more easier terms to explain and then here it's going to give you everything that you would have received as being that credit wise possibly and then you go down it's display my C school again with a better detailed information and you can hear it says college level test scores now if you've taken any prep to any prep test or anything like that through the military it's going to show up here with your scores which is very helpful again for school when you're applying and trying to get into a college and then here it says other learning experiences. These are things that the military didn't deem as for sure credits because they could be this or that. It's very in the middle, but these are still things that you did and they're willing to show that it may be worth credit at some point. So let's go back to the page. So we can look at the next one and it says transcript summary. And when you open this up, it's a linear list that's a lot easier to read so you know exactly what you have done and where you start. So you go, same thing, recruit training, A school, AIT, C school, OES, UT, and then job descriptions here. It's the same thing on the other page, just in a condensed version, kind of like a checklist so you can see it. Let's go to the next one. This one is transcript academic courses. So when you open this up, you're gonna see if you have any academic credits, they'll show up. So I have a, a degree, I have a bachelor's in history. So it shows up here, it shows up where I got it, when I got my degree. And then this is a course that I'm taking it through TA right here. So it's showing up, but it's not great because I'm currently in the class. Uh, these two courses right here are from uh, NCP, NC Pace courses that I took when I was on a 2017 deployment and a 2018 deployment. These are courses that were offered underway through the Navy College Program for a Float College Education for Sailors. The Army has something very similar to this that you can use if your chain of command approves while you are deployed. So let's go back. It says my complete transcript. We'll go to that really quick. And it shows up as this is the entire transcript to include the summary, the academic courses, and the regular. So it goes from the same thing that we started with, all the descriptions, 
and then you get here to where it's the explanation of what these mean it has all of these codes that you can read so you know what you're talking about when you don't have to talk to someone and hey I don't know what this means it kind of gives you everything so you can understand the transcript better and then you get to your summary page here where we saw the linear list of things for a checklist of sorts your academic institution courses and this final page gives any way to update it if you have a problem with it or if you want to add something that's not there this is the option this is tells you how to do it whether it's a form or it's where to send an email who to call so that's all of the transcripts let's go back and it says right here it says request official transcript summary so if you do want to request a school request it you can go here and it shows every time you pull them up so you can see when it was used and where you decide to pull now if you want to search for a school you go here and you search for a school to see if you have anything and I don't have anything from a school but it gives you the address that you could send something to the transcript go back to the home page and say here are my inquiries now this is when you have a question about something on your page that doesn't look right or something that didn't show up so recently I had to add my degree so it shows up here saying that I had a problem and I wanted to be able to get into my degree and before that I had gotten locked out of my account so I requested a new password in order to get into my account that's the kind of things that are going to show up here in the my inquiry section we go back to the home page and we go to the my degree agreements this is actually really cool but it, if you have a degree you're trying to get a degree through something it will show up here like if you're with the school and you're saying hey I want to take these classes it will show up here if you go to my degree pathways and you go by school say you know a school you want to try and it's in this list this is the ones that are the military have affiliations with and readily work with I'll do Liberty because that's where I'm going to grad school and see here it gives you what you could possibly acquire and then for the Navy it has the rates that they may work for for the army it may have the MOS here to match what these degrees would match with if you go back to degree pathways and you go by rating or MOS code it's going to give you a list of degrees that you could get based on your rate or MOS so I'm an MC so MC is what I look for and some degrees apply to every rate or every MOS because they're broad rates let's go with communications because I'm an MC and I'm a mass communication specialist so if you go to download PDF it's gonna come up in a degree planning list which is very helpful for trying to get in school and trying to decide what you want to take so this right is going to show you everything major area of study what you're required for the major how many hours required whether it has to be transfer resident rating clep test anything like that's here and then it says 18 hours for a degree but I only need 14 hours because my a school count is four hours towards this degree and if you go down the list has general educations and how many you need how many I have how many you need how many I have and as you go down you may find a section somewhere in here that you have a lot of hours because of your degree or because of a course you took while in the military such as here it says social science I have three here and three here because I took NC pace courses while I was underway and then electives it just same thing you can do anything elective wise it says from your my rating that I have 24 credits and I need 24 credits so I don't need any more so if you get down here to the bottom it says required hours for a degree which is 60 and I have six transfer credits I have three for my a school which or AIT then I have 28 for my rating or MOS so that means that I would need 26 hours of credits if all of my courses would transfer to an institution and at the bottom it has notes and requirements saying that you could take a CLEP test for this you could have satisfied military training you could place into a higher class based on a test score 
all very helpful if you are trying to get into school and you're not really sure where you want to go or what will transfer. It's very, very helpful. So let's go back to the page. That was by MOS or Rating. So if you go to all programs here, it gives you a long list of all the military affiliated colleges here on the left. And then it gives you a list of them on the down here at the bottom. You can go by and click through every one. There's a lot. As you see, it goes all the way down. So let's just say we'll click we'll click a college again. Let's go to Liberty. And it pops to where Liberty is. These three right here. So it gives you the option, same thing as we did before with the buy school. So let's go back to the home page. So we went over all four transcripts, what encouragement, how my degree agreements would work, the three ways to find a degree pathway. And then obviously we have our favorite quick links here, which will direct you to the FAQs, which would be very helpful if I didn't explain something well enough for you, or if you have an additional questions. Um, the military guide for test the Go Army education here, which is helpful for your TA and for how to go about getting education and help for the Army, the Marine Corps as well, Web TA, the Navy College program, which HM1 Marone also made a video about, which you could be very helpful if you're trying to look into getting cool search, stuff like that. And then all of these different other quick links that you could be useful. So that's pretty much it for the JST. If you have any questions, I highly recommend that you reach out to your leadership wherever you are in the world. They should be more than willing to help you. And if they don't have the answer, they're going to find the career counselor or someone who does have the answer so they can help you achieve the goals that you want. Well, that's all, folks. Have a great day.